Strict attention to the details of setting a single high miss net are critical to any successful bat inventory. And a well set single high is essential for any trapping effort where multiple nets are deployed in tandem, especially the highly productive double and triple high net sets. So, we are going to turn this solidly set single high miss net into a highly productive double high. All we need is a little bit of extra gear. We need one more miss net, the same length as this one, and two more pole tops on each end, and one extra long guy tie for each side. The first thing we have to do is collapse the top of the net to the second pole and remove the third pole. Then we take out our second net, remove the top loop, and put the loops of our second net right on top of our first net. Once our second net is stacked on top of the first net, then we take what is now our new top pole and we tie our extra long guy tie to it. This guy tie is about 25 feet long, whereas our regular guy ties for our single high set are about 12 feet long. So we take our new top pole and we put it on top of our existing second pole and then move up all the loops of our second net onto the top pole. Now we take the new top pole back off and we take the top loop of our second net and put it all the way to the top of the pole. Then we space the rest of the net accordingly along this pole. At this point, we grab another pole, put it below our new top pole, and continue to spread the new net along the length of this pole. And we conclude the process by putting the original top pole onto the bottom of our two new poles and finishing the net. Then we put these poles back up on our original set. And we move the top loop of our original single high up on to the third pole, directly beneath the lower loop of the second net. Now we repeat the process on the other end of the net. Okay, now we have to guy the top pole off. When we tie off the extra long guy tie, it has to be going in the exact direction that the net is. At this point, we may have to readjust the original guy ropes just to make sure that the set is as square as possible, that the poles are perfectly vertical, and that the tension is even across every single main strand on both nets. To remove a bat out of the second net, we first have to collapse the loops onto the second pole. Then we remove this pole and we start collapsing the upper net to the top pole, removing our extra poles as we come to them. Once we've got the bat where we can reach it, we put this top pole back on and then we can easily remove the bat. At the end of the evening, when we're ready to tear down, we just collapse all of the net strands onto the second pole from the original net set. Then we remove the top pole, and we repeat the process on the other side of the net. As usual, we're going to take the top loop off of the net and leave the remaining loops on, and then pass the top loop through each of the silver rings on the remaining loops in order. And tying off the top loop with a single overhand knot. Now we take the top net off, and then wrap it up and stow it in its bag. So you can easily see, with just a little bit more effort and a little bit more gear, you can double your trapping area and hopefully your capture success. Now there are going to be some places where a double high just isn't going to cut it and you're going to need to go triple high. 
Well, with that, you're gonna need some very specialized gear.